two, three. Let's look at Teak 238, which says decompose two-dimensional shapes, such as cutting out a square from a rectangle, dividing a shape in half, or partitioning a rectangle into identical triangles and identify the resulting geometric shapes. To um, model this standard, we're going to use sheets of paper. So we're going to start with an 8.5 by 11 standard size sheet of paper and we're going to partition through folding. So I am going to fold this paper in half and we have partitioned the original rectangle into two smaller rectangles. These two rectangles are equal in size and shape. We're going to take another standard sheet of paper and this time we're going to divide it into four equal parts. So I'm going to fold in half once, then in half again, open back up, and we have partitioned our original rectangle into four smaller rectangles that are equal in size and shape. Next, we're going to partition a rectangle into two smaller triangles. So for this one, this fold can be a little tricky. Line up corner to corner, crease, and when we open it back up, we have partitioned our rectangle into two smaller triangles that are equal in size and shape. Now, I'm going to take a square, and I had to cut an eight, a standard sheet of paper into a square. Now, I want to divide this square into four equal triangles. So we're going to fold diagonal to diagonal, diagonal to diagonal, and then fold down the middle here. Open back up, and we have partitioned a square into four smaller triangles equal in size and shape. Back to a standard sheet of paper. I want to partition this into a smaller square and a smaller rectangle. So, I'm going to crease here. You're going to have to measure. And now we have partitioned this piece of paper into a smaller rectangle and a smaller square. These two shapes are not equal in size or shape. Now let's look at how we can partition a rectangle into four smaller rectangles that are not equal in size and shape. So I'm just going to fold and a piece in from one of the ends and then a little piece down, crease, and we have partitioned our rectangle into four smaller rectangles, each of which are not equal in size or shape. The last one we're going to look at is how we can partition a rectangle into three smaller triangles that are not all equal in size or shape. So for this one, this one's a little tricky too. I found the center along this top edge and I creased from that center point to the opposite corner. Did the same thing on the other side. And then when we open it up, we have three smaller triangles that are not all three equal to each other in size or shape. 